Hi, this is Info Puppet, and we're gonna morph a mouth, some eyes, and a piece of produce. And I'm gonna tell you, I think this is incredible. And you know what, if I was a betting puppet, and you know, I, I kinda am a betting puppet, I'd probably bet a lot that you guys are gonna absolutely love this next Photoshop Elements tutorial. All right, we have Photoshop Elements open up. Let's go ahead and take a look at the three images that we're gonna be working with. Now I've gotta start with the strawberry and I, I can't work with it laying on its side like that. So let's go ahead and go to the toolbar and I'm gonna just grab the straighten tool. And I'll tell you what, I love the straighten tool. And uh, you always have some options with it like crop to original size, uh, crop to remove background, grow or shrink canvas to fit, but I'm gonna go with crop to original size. You can click on that video to the left if you want some more info about the straighten tool. I'm just left clicking, holding, and dragging on diagonal, and there you go. It's perfectly straight, but pointing the wrong way, but that's okay. We're going to take care of that with image, rotate, and 90 degrees left. And now, it's exactly what I want to work on my face. Now, where's that other image at? I'm going to... Ah! Oh, man. I forgot about that thing. Let's go ahead and move it to uh, increase the 200%. I'll just tell you what, I'm glad I didn't run into it when it looked like that. Go into the toolbar now and I'm going to select the selection brush tool. Now if you don't see the selection brush tool, it might be because the quick selection brush tool is showing. Just left click hold and there's your selection brush tool. I need the pixels to be probably around 28. And now I'm just going to left click, hold, and drag. Okay? Now, guys, I'm telling you, you don't have to worry about this. I'm just going to have my selection about in the center of the lips because I'm going to feather this, all right? So it's not going to be perfect, but just, you know, somewhere in the center. That looks pretty good. And now I'm going to go up to Select and Feather. And four pixels, perfect. Okay, don't really see anything that happened. So let's go to the Move tool now. And I'm going to left click, hold, and drag it over the strawberry. The feather just kind of helps it mend in a little bit better. All right, now let's readjust this mouth. Yeah, yeah, no, that doesn't, no, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, but no, not there, yeah, yeah, that perfect. All right, now we're going to work on the mouth, so I have to select the mouth layer, okay? Now we're going to go over and grab the eraser tool, and I'm just going to start erasing and, uh, you know, I've got kind of a sharp edge with the eraser. So, uh, you see what I mean? Look at that. So, I'm going to go up here and change the opacity to 30%. Okay? And now you can see it's blending in a little bit. I'm actually, you know, erasing uh, the lips here. Because i got to tell you guys, you know, don't tell anybody. Uh, strawberries don't have lips. Okay? So, uh... You know, I think you'll find out, though, if you just have the opening without the lips, it's actually going to look a lot better, all right? So, look, hey, don't give me any lip, all right, strawberry? There you go. All right, I think that looks pretty good. So, let's minimize this, and now we're going to bring out the eyes. And we're going to do about the same thing. I'm going to go over to the toolbar now, and I'm going to grab uh, my favorite brush selection tool. And now I'm just going to left-click, hold, and drag. And look, I'm going outside of the actual eyeball. A little bit on the outside, because I'm going to feather it. That's okay. I'm going to bring this down now to 13 pixels so I can get into the corners of the eye. And as you can see, it's not a perfect selection by any means, but that's all right. So I'm going to go with the feather. Select feather. Now I'm feeling a little crazy today, so I'm going to go with 7 pixels instead of 4. Whoa. And now I'm just going to left click, hold, and drag. And I'm going to go ahead and move the eyeball over and look at that. He is awesome. Eyeball's a little large, so let's go ahead and uh, bring that down a little bit. Now I'm going to show you a cheap way, a quick way, to produce an instant left eyeball. Okay, so we're just going to go to File, New, Blank File, and OK. And I'm just going to drag the same right eyeball over. Let's see if we can get this done. Now you can always take take your time and actually go through the process of doing the left eyeball. But I'm going to go to image, rotate, and flip horizontally. And I don't know if you saw it, but it just flipped. 
and there you go, instant left eyeball. Now the reflections are a little off, but that's okay. For time purposes, it looks pretty good. There you go, there's my guy. Hope you guys love this tutorial. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.